how does it feel, obviously, now making it back to the national championship for the second season in a row? Um, it feels great, honestly. Um, I think it means that I've put the right work in that um, during the pandemic and last year that was uh, very tough for everybody. Um, it basically means that I kept working and, and trusting in the process and um, everybody has improved a lot since the last time I was here. So just very excited, very happy and ready to play tomorrow. So obviously you had a pretty incredible comeback yesterday. Was that on your mind at all today or were you just kind of put that in the past and moved on? Honestly, that just gave me confidence and I used that confidence um, in a very good way. I think that um, fitness is one of my strengths and I just trusted that yesterday and going into today I knew that um, I had to play great tennis but um, honestly just trusting my shots and um, yeah. And now what, what would it mean to you to close out your incredible Miami career with a, another national championship tomorrow? Just another tennis match. Just like every other that I've played wearing this U and uh, ready to battle like I've done in the past in, in every match. And, you know, being coachable, nothing changes, honestly. Um, just playing every point like, like every other point, honestly. There's nothing changes. Okay. So we'll <laughs> open up some questions now. We're going to go to Arthur and then Colette. Hey, so uh, nice, nice match today. Congratulations. Uh, you had a couple of big juice points in that second set when you, when you really pulled away. Uh, I'm just curious your, your mindset as you go into those, uh, those, those big points in particular. I think that I played those points uh, aggressive, playing my tennis. Um, I was basically um, playing smarter than in the, play, than in the first set. Um, I was uh, dictating a little more and trusting my shots a little more. And I think that um, basically that paid off, honestly. I also lost some of these points in the first set, so I knew that I just had to play with confidence and uh, tennis will just take care of itself. I feel like you had a, a pretty decent uh, support uh, group in the, in the crowd there. Can you just share who's, uh, who's along with you uh, supporting you? Of course. So I'm very lucky. I have a great team behind me, uh, my teammates. Honestly, they are the best thing the COVID year gave me. And I'm super grateful that they were here supporting me. Um, Basically, all of them, except one that is home, um, came to support, and that means the world to me. Uh, I also have some friends, um, roommates, um, yeah, um, also the staff, the UM staff, um, everybody, you know. Um, honestly, it feels great that they are over there supporting me, and um, the people that are not here, you know, I feel... I feel that they're with me in every point. So, so yeah, very happy, very thankful, very grateful for the people that support me. And honestly, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. So. Thank you. All right, go ahead, Colette. Hi, congratulations, Estella. Uh, I wonder if you could uh, talk a little bit about how, how the heat has affected you or not affected you. You have that really long match um, yesterday, and there, people were speculating that maybe, you know, this would not be good for you because um, you were out on the court so long yesterday, but you seemed to get stronger as it went on. Is that one of your um, big positives, that, that you're um, fitter or more used to the heat than anyone else? Well, I've been living in Miami for almost five years, and I think I've got used to the, the heat, the humidity, um, playing under the sun and honestly I think um, as I said before my fitness is one of my strengths so when I make matches physical that's good for me um, obviously yesterday was a tough match and I was very happy that I was able to get the win um, but honestly I just try not to think about that and I'm used to practicing you know on, at, around noon so it's not a big deal. I'm just used to it and uh, trying to um, take advantage of, of that. Did you have any physical 
So, I mean, did you have any aches and pains or anything like that? I mean, um, you know, it, 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 was there any physical <laughs> repercussions at all from, from yesterday? <laughs> Honestly, not at all. I feel great. I'm ready for tomorrow, ready to battle and to stay on the court. You know, the, basically whatever it takes to, to get it out with you tomorrow, that's what's uh, going to happen and that's what I'm going to do. So, I feel great. Thank you. Um, all right. Uh, so, there are no more questions in English. We're going to go to a couple quick sp uh, questions in Spanish. <laughs> de un año que definitivamente bien peculiar en esta pandemia eh, defendiendo este título de campeona cómo te sientes nada súper contenta la verdad súper emocionada la verdad que el año pasado no fue nada fácil y esto significa pues que he seguido trabajando he seguido mejorando he seguido confiando en el proceso en la gente que está detrás de mí mi equipo eh, pues un poco en todo y, y nada preparada para mañana preparada para darlo todo y, y nada otro partido más Mm -hmm. Sí. Nada, simplemente pues intentando tener un partido, o sea, ir un partido cada vez, sin pensar en el día siguiente, simplemente pensando en el momento. Y, y nada, pues confiando mucho en mi físico, es uno de mis puntos fuertes. Entonces, eh, pues cuando el partido se hace más largo pues confío mucho en que siempre tengo suficiente para llegar al final y para ganar y, y, y nada, pues para mañana, pues igual que para hoy, día a día, punto a punto y poco a poco. Y siempre en las gradas tienes eh, apoyo, fanaticadas, si nos pueden estar aquí, siempre lo vemos en social media, uh -huh. que está apoyándote. ¿Qué significa eso para ti y qué mensaje tienes para esa gente que puede estar aquí o que te apoyan desde Miami, desde España, desde todas partes? <risa> bueno, les debo todo, sinceramente. Es súper importante saber que la gente te apoya y, y tengo muchísima suerte de que toda la gente que está aquí o que me escribe o que pues, se pone en contacto conmigo, pues, eh, bueno, significa que no solamente hago las cosas bien en la pista, sino también fuera de la pista, ¿no? Y eh, es increíble pues, tener toda esta gente apoyándote y, y obviamente pues, te dan ese aliento de fuerza cuando uno pues, está ahí al borde. Eh, uno siente como que te dan ese empujón extra, esa confianza extra y súper agradecida, la verdad.